The iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 both produced excellent shots, great color and detail, and I'd be happy to share either one with others. But if I had to pick, it'd go to the Pixel 2. If we crop to 100% on the side of the building, you'll notice deeper blacks on the wall and even on the fence. And the Pixel 2's accomplishing this without oversaturating or over sharpening. It's just a clear, color accurate shot. Better definition in the shadows, the brickwork, and even the antenna way in the back. I'm back! For the most part, both of these shots look eerily the same. It probably has a lot to do with how much blue there is and how similar the shades match in the picture. The only noticeable difference I'm spotting is this corner building on the right. It's a bit darker and what looks to be better detail on the Pixel 2. Cropping to 100% surely proves this. A lot of the brickwork on the iPhone 10 shows up soft while more pronounced on the Pixel 2. And if we move further to the right and deeper into the background, you'll see how detailed the Sears Tower shows up. You can easily make out the architecture and spot the individual windows where the iPhone X fails to do so. In this next set of shots, you can see a really punchy set of colors on the iPhone X. The blues are deeper in the sky, and the wall where the mural stands shows an almost aggressive display of sharpening. The Pixel 2's colors are more true to life, but both show off a worthy overall picture. At 100% crop, you can see that sharpening in the rocks, and just a deeper tone of colors throughout. And while I usually prefer the more color accurate shot, in this particular set, the iPhone 10 gets my vote. But this is more of a personal preference. Your mileage may vary. Now, I'm not going to make you guess on these next set of shots, and that's because that saturated look carries over again on the iPhone X. It actually crosses a line of vibrant and punchy to neon-like and over-sharpen. The true-to-life color palette of the Pixel 2 is my more favorable choice. To really show off Apple's saturation of red, check out these dumpsters. In real life, they're nowhere near this rich in color. They're a lot more accurate on the Pixel 2. Yet. In this instance, that red on the 10 is really appealing to the eye, for me at least, while keeping everything else in the picture under control. The first thing I noticed is how cool the iPhone 10 shot is. And by cool, I mean blue. The Pixel 2 offers a more well-balanced shot, better shades of green on the street signs and the truck, and brighter whites on the bike lane sign. It also seems like the iPhone 10 really punches up the blue here. Again, the Pixel 2 is on the money with color accuracy not particularly leaning too warm or too cool in this shot. At 100% crop, both do a fine job in detail, but the Pixel 2 gets my seal of approval for its well-balanced colors. And just for a frame of reference, I took multiple shots at this location, and each and every time the results were the same. A cooler tone on the 10, and a more detailed and color accurate shot on the Pixel 2. But in a few instances, the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 were so close to each other in picture quality during the day that I couldn't pick them apart. But it might be different through another person's eyes. What do you think?
In this first set of night shots, the Pixel 2 is definitely the brighter photo of the two, but it comes at a cost. You get added noise in the sky and less accurate color. Take a look at the browns here, for example. The iPhone X is truer to life, yet still provides a well-lit shot without overdoing it. The same goes for this second set of shots. The background sky has a ton of unwanted noise. And again, while the Pixel 2 is the brighter shot, I much prefer the iPhone X's more toned down look. It is night after all. You don't have to have a day shot here. Both of these night shots turned out pretty well in my opinion. The Pixel 2 tends to exhibit a yellowish tinge in the evening hours, but it also maintains the artificial light around it much better. The Gideon Well sign isn't as blown out, and the neon lights underneath it are a lot more legible. You can see the same type of behavior here in front of the Chicago Bra House. The address and the signs to the left and right are slightly overblown compared to the Pixel 2. But let's not forget that the 10 has a more color accurate shade to its picture compared to the Pixel 2's yellowish haze. In this storefront shot at night, at first glance both photos seem pretty similar to me but it becomes pretty apparent that the Pixel 2 knows how to handle light in different situations. If you look at the left and middle displays on the iPhone X, you'll see that the white stands are overblown, making it a lot more difficult to see the glasses that sit atop. The light is a lot more controlled on the Pixel 2 and just balances the picture throughout. The cat on the right with the shades isn't overblown either. When it comes to portrait shots, both phones do an impressive job capturing the subject in focus. In this night shot, you can see the iPhone works with a warmer color palette than the Pixel 2, which is really evident here with skin tone. And while the iPhone X uses two lenses to produce that bokeh effect in the background, the Pixel 2 uses only one. It blurred the left side pretty well, but then not so much on the right side. In this indoor shot, the Pixel 2 did a much better job with the background, and skin tones are now similar and more natural here. Notice the background on the Pixel 2 is nowhere near as blown out as on the iPhone X. But the most important thing is the subject, and the detail on my buddy Sam here is a lot clearer and well defined on the Pixel 2. Now, I have one last portrait shot that I wasn't going to show because I thought maybe it was a fluke on the iPhone's part. But I figure I'd share it anyway on account to how well a portrait shot can still be taken on a Pixel 2 with one lens. Again, you have the blown background on the iPhone X, and Sam's nowhere near as detailed as he is on the Pixel 2. The Pixel 2's detail versus the iPhone X in the shot is, well, it's just leaps above. Clear, crisp, and refreshing. <laughs> Sounds like a f 7-Up ad. Anyway, I know the 10's a lot more capable when it comes to portrait shots, but fluke or not, the Pixel 2 did an excellent job here. The iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 are truly some of the best smartphone cameras on the market today, when it comes to picture quality. I'm a little surprised that the 10 has started to saturate colors a bit to provide more vibrancy than accuracy. It sounds like a page out of Samsung's playbook, especially since the iPhone's camera has always provided a more natural, accurate color palette for years. Regardless, the 10 is capable of excellent shots, when compared to the Pixel 2, they're neck and neck in a lot of ways. But in my opinion, the Pixel 2's picture quality edges the iPhone 10's. I preferred a lot of the shots I took on my Pixel 2 over my 10, especially in well-lit situations. More times than not, the Pixel 2 had better detail and color representation. It isn't perfect, but it gets a lot right. The Pixel 2 can sometimes add too much noise in a shot at night to brighten up a photo, and under artificial lighting, it can sometimes lean on a yellow profile, which may be undesirable to some, me included. Depending on your environment, one phone might be better than the other. If picture quality on a camera is a top priority in your book, 
these two phones are worth a look. Now, whether you think it's worth the dough, well, that's another story. Origami.